I mean, this is... Uh, that's good stuff, right? It's just strong. <laughs> it's not what you'd expect to turn up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And here's a guy driving around all day, uh, taking little hits off that. But at a police roadblock on the South Island, well, anything is possible, including this 4-liter jug of homemade wine officers say they found wide open in a vehicle. He's a tradesman driving around and he's over the limit, right? Way over the limit. In fact, he's facing hefty fines, upwards of $4,500 because he blew over the legal limit. Well, I, I think this roadblock just demonstrates that impaired driving is still a big problem. Um, we can set up a roadblock at any time of the day, any time of the night, and still catch impaired drivers. And while impaired drivers are still out there, there is some good news. The province says the number of people dying on BC roads because of drinking and driving is down, way down. Since tougher impaired driving legislation came into effect two years ago, the province says alcohol-related deaths on our roads are down 46%. That's 104 lives that uh, families that are home at tonight watching television with their families that would not have been. So it's, uh, it's incredibly uh, uh, successful. And I think what we're seeing a lot of that's really positive is we're seeing a lot more designated drivers and they're true designated drivers. Uh, so they haven't had anything to drink as opposed to a couple of drinks and they think they're under the radar, but they aren't. Still, Sergeant LeBlanc says he's cautiously optimistic, keeping in mind the numbers are based on only two years of data. We're encouraged by the numbers we're seeing. Uh, we still have lots of work to do. Um, I'll be really interested to see what the numbers are five years and ten years down the road um, so that we'll see if it's, uh, um, if it's a trend or if it's just a blip. If we stop a motorist and ask... But while uh, drinking and driving continues to be on their radar, police say people driving while on drugs is becoming more and more of a concern. So we think that there's huge areas for public concern and deals with drug impaired driving. Victoria Police Chief Jamie Graham, who also chairs the Traffic Committee of the BC Association of Chiefs of Police, says without any hard data, it's tough to get a handle on how much of a problem drug impaired driving is. We haven't got the numbers that we want. There, there hasn't been a lot of research done into um, a drug and drug impaired driving, drug levels. There are not specific levels. Um, uh, that we can look back through our literature to say, okay, that is impaired and that's not impaired. So we need research. So he's turning to the Centre for Addictions and Research at the University of Victoria to explore what impaired by drugs actually means and what levels are dangerous if you're behind the wheel. So the BC Chiefs of Police, we've passed several motions and um, one was to challenge the um, scientific community to um, establish that criteria, do the studies. We've challenged uh, manufacturers to come up with an instrument. But Graham says this is not a war on drugs. My issue is traffic and traffic safety and the fact that people get behind or, or operate behind the wheel and operate motor vehicles when when their ability to, to, to do so is impaired by, by a drug. And he hopes within a year, research at UVic will be complete and they'll have a pile of data to take to the federal government in hopes that changes can be made to make our roads safer. In View Royal, I'm Nikki Iwanishan.